Hi there, it's uh, Monday, April 6th. As you can see, I finally broke down and uh, tried to trim my beard. Well, I did trim my beard myself today. Uh, it's one of those things where I um, started with the clippers with the biggest guard on it, uh, the longest guard, and it still was this short. And I'm just glad I started over here and not here. Um, but I had to take it down. And then at some point it just becomes uh, topiary, like a bush. You grow it every day and can trim it into different shapes. Uh, had a lovely day, um, which is to say that I had stretches of time where I really enjoyed myself and wasn't thinking too much about coronavirus. And then I had moments where I was wondering what I would do if my partner David got sick. Uh, so a mixed bag, like most days especially these days. Uh, but I thought I would end this evening with a really beautiful prayer that comes to us from the prayer book, uh, the Book of Common Prayer of the Episcopal Church. It's a prayer for evening time for the Office of Compline, one of the evening prayers. And I offer it to you. It says, Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night. And give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. I want to share that again and ask you to think about all the people in our world right now who fit into all of these various categories. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work, with those who watch, with those who weep this night. And give your angels charge over those who sleep or try to sleep or sleep for a little while and then wake at 3 a.m. and can't get back to bed or those who can't afford to sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary, particularly those who are weary from tending the sick. Bless the dying. We are all dying, O oh God, but some are closer to you now than others. So many, in fact. Bless them with your presence. Soothe the suffering of all who suffer. Have pity on those who are afflicted. Be moved in your guts, O oh God, for those who suffer and who are afflicted. And shield the joyous. Safeguard our joyous moments to us, O oh God. They are so precious, particularly in a time like now. And do all of this for your love's sake, because that is who and what and how you are, O oh God. You are love. Peace, friends. Have a good night.